So here we are inside the connector room. One option is that the companies tabling the event could do their trade show here. The question is whether they would have exposure. Another thought is to do the kickoff of the event here, given there's a stage over there. Those stage units are movable, they're individual pieces, um, and so we could bring our podium and amp and AV stuff and do our kickoff here with everyone in this room. Um, another option is to do the award ceremony here in this room. Note that those are individual sections. And so here's the breadth of the connector room. By the way, we had once talked to Low Mill about doing co-working night in this room, if we ever did a Low Mill co-working night. Going down the hall here, um, Matt had said something that I missed about this being where folks would sleep, is down this hallway. There's a bunch of lockers here. Um, I'm not sure what's down that hallway, but that's that thought. There's Avum, which is the aerospace company that we saw from inside the other space. But Mike said that this was like the main door that folks would come through. This is the main entrance to Low Mill. So on a Saturday afternoon, this is where people are coming to tour Low Mill. Um, one, one door, anyway. Is this, did I miss the, oh no, this is right. Look at all these outlets on the wall. Okay, so. This is the door. If I'm not mistaken, it goes into this dark room. This is the other room where Space Apps Challenge will be held, where participants can hack and build stuff. Uh, it's dark in here, but the windows point to a couple of aerospace companies with this zoo-like feel for being able to see what they're working on and for them to see what we're working on. The space is pretty big. Um, I'm guessing a few thousand square feet, so. Um, Plenty of room to have participants or companies tabling or demos happening or that kind of thing. And we'll need to think about this later as we plan logistics. You know, we need to rent or borrow an AV setup. So we need a bunch of TVs. I'd like to live stream what's happening in the other cities. I'd like to showcase our sponsor logos, that kind of thing. Put the schedule and agenda up on TVs, that kind of thing. So. We should think about how we're going to get TVs on rolling stands. We need a podium and an amp system, a way to amplify the sound of speaking voices. This is the main Steamworks room, and so um, it's 6,000 square feet, it's pretty big. That equipment against the wall there is wet lab uh, equipment from the previous tenant. Mike just put in a new router with fast internet th this past week, so we have one access point in this room. We'll need to figure out what the access point situation looks like for the other rooms. Um, these are tables set up. Mike has 19 of these tables. I'm going to rent a whole bunch more from Mullins, but he has 19 of these tables and these types of chairs. Um, so, you know, lots of outlets and Wi Fi access here. Um, maybe hardware manufacturing tools in this room, although Mike said likely he'll bring folks upstairs to Mind Gear to do that stuff. Um, nonetheless, this is the main room where the hackathon will be held. And so we should collectively think about how we utilize this room best. And I'll stand far over here in the corner. You know, if we do the kickoff speaking in this room, where would that go? Maybe over to the right over there, or maybe down there at the end near the wall. Um, yeah, let's dream about this space and come up with the ideal setup. So that's kind of the tour of the space. Um, you'll see the parking lot for Low Mill is right outside the windows. That toll booth, well, you can't see because of the sunlight glare, but the entrance to Low Mill officially is right through these windows. So we're right by the entrance to Low Mill. We'll need to come up with a good map system and point folks to where to park and where to go inside the doors. We'll need to have lots of signs. So we'll need to order signs in advance, perhaps from Allied Printing and so on. So lots of logistical details to plan out here in the last couple weeks before this event. And hopefully that gives a good tour of what resources are available to us. Thanks.